So we're going to be using my coins on the board, but anything that I write up on the board, you also need to write on your paper. Okay, you also need to write on your paper. So today we're going to be actually, you are actually going to be doing the writing and doing the paper and pencil work that I've been doing since we started learning this on Monday. So we've been working with pretending that we have amounts of money to spend. So today we're going to pretend that I have 52 cents to spend. Don't write anything yet. Don't write anything yet. Braxton, how would I show 52 cents? How many dimes, how many pennies? Five dimes. Keep going. Pennies. Five dimes and two pennies. Give me a thumbs up if you agree, agree with Braxton that that's how we show 52 cents. I agree with Braxton that that is how we show 52 cents. We are going to pretend that I spent 35 cents. So right now, everybody needs to write this number sentence. 52 cents minus 35 cents. Please make sure that your numbers are lined up. My cent signs need to be lined up. My two and my five need to be lined up, and my five and my three need to be lined up. I'm coming around to make sure that you're writing neatly, and that you have your numbers lined up. Okay, some of you have already done the next step. Yes, you can go ahead and put your cent sign down in your answer. Yes, you can go ahead and put your cent sign down in your answer. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and do that. Okay, I have two pennies and I want to take away five pennies. Do I have enough pennies to take them away? No. no. So how am I going to get enough pennies? Logan, what am I going to do? Take away one dime, take out ten more. Okay, so I'm going to take away one dime. This dime is gone. And then I am going to add ten pennies. You're not writing anything yet. Eli, I didn't say thumbs down. 
you know very well that that is 61 cents. I want to take away or spend 43 cents. Okay, pick one of your boxes and everybody write this number sentence. 61 cents minus 43 cents. Make sure everything's lined up just like with our first one. 61 cents. Oh, you're not lined up. Let me see. Move your one over a little bit, then we'll be more lined up. Don't forget your cent sign. If you want, go ahead and put your cent sign down in your answer. Right under your other cent sign. Okay. I have one penny, but they want me to take away three. Do I have enough? No. So what am I going to do? Faden, what am I going to do? Take away one dime and add ten. Add ten what? Ten pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Do I have six dimes on my work mat still? No. Dylan, how many dimes are on my work mat right now? Five. So I cross out my six and make it a five. Everybody do that on your paper. Cross out your six and make it a five. I had one penny, but I added ten pennies. So, Evie, if I had one and added ten, how many do I have? One plus ten. Eleven. Eleven. So I put a small one in front of my one. Everybody do that on your paper. Now can I take away my three pennies? Yes. yes. So now I can take away my three pennies. I group them together, and they're gone. And I'm going to take away my four dimes. I group them together, and they're gone. How many pennies are left on my work mat? Sophia, how many pennies? Count them. Nice and loud. Eight pennies. So I write an eight under my three, maybe. How many dimes are on my work mat, Melina? One. So 61 cents minus 43 cents is 18 cents. Okay, let's take a look at another one. I have 80 cents. How would I show 80 cents? Marina, how would I show 80 cents? How many dimes? How many pennies? Eight dimes and zero pennies. Thumbs up if you agree with Marina that that's how we show 80 cents. That's how we show 80 cents. Five, six, seven, eight. I spent, I spent, maybe, 54 cents. Everybody write this fact on your paper. 80 cents minus 54 cents. Are you writing this and doing the work? You're not. Don't know how the work's going to get done if you're not doing it. You need to pick a box and you need to write this number sentence on your paper, please. Pick up your pencil and write. Hold your pencil the correct way and write your number sentence. Do I have enough pennies to take away my four pennies? No. no. How will I get pennies? What will I do? Leo. Take away a dime and put ten pennies. And add ten pennies. How many dimes are on my work mat right now, Daniela? I had eight, but I took one away. How many are on there? Seven. So I cross out. Oops, I meant to do that in a different color. Cross out my set, my eight, and make it a seven. Yazelle, how many pennies are on my work mat now? I had zero and I added ten. What's zero plus ten? Zero plus ten. Or how about ten plus zero? If I have ten and I add nothing, how many do I have? Ten. ten. So I put a small one in front of my zero. Do I have enough to take away my pennies? Yes. yes, so I take away my four pennies. They're gone. Now 
I'm ready to take away my dimes. I'm, I'm going to take away five. How many pennies are on my work mat right now? Kira, how many pennies are on my work mat right now? Six, so I put my six down here. How many dimes, Leo, on my work mat? Two. Two, 26 cents. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. 96 cents. How would I show 96 cents? Adeline, how do I show 96 cents? Nine dimes and six pennies. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I spent, thir well, I didn't want orange, but we got orange. I spent 31 cents. Logan, do I have enough to take away a penny? Yeah, so I don't have to regroup. I just get rid of my penny. It's gone. Do I have enough to take away my dimes? Yeah, so I just take away my three dimes. There, whoops, I don't want to take away all of that. I, that happened again. I don't know how that happened. Okay, how many pennies are on my work mat right now? Adeline, how many pennies are on my work mat right now? Five. How many dimes are on my work mat right now? Leo. Six. So 96 cents minus 31 cents is 55 cents. I need you to turn in your Wednesday packet to your fact homework. We're